Yo, what's going on guys? Abby here. Today, I want to talk about bells and why they're so unbalanced. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are already well aware of this issue since for those of you guys who've unlocked bell before, you know that most of the bells are completely unusable. I mean, let's be real here. Most of the players in the deep one community either use blood, scourge, or payback. I mean, there will always be that small minority who use something like sacred field, but the large majority of players are drifting towards the same three, maybe four bells. And the reason for this is pretty simple. It's just that the other bells are straight trash. So today I'm going to go over three examples of bells that I think are completely well useless. And I'm going to give you guys some changes to these bells that could potentially be made that would make these bells a little bit better. Starting off with smite. Smite is just bad. First of all, the amount of orbs that this bell spawns when you use it and the damage of these orbs is all luck. I kid you not. I've seen clips of this bell doing 2% damage. I'll put one on screen right now. This would mean that the starter weapon that you spawn with when you make your character is doing more damage than the end game ability you get when your progression is finished i don't think i need to explain any further this bell is bad so how do i think we could fix it well i was thinking that we give these orbs a secondary effect that's unique to this bell an effect that you could only get by picking up this ability one idea i had was to make this bell make all your mantra cooldowns a bit longer for a period of time once you're hit by it to my knowledge this effect can be found nowhere else in the game so i think it would be cool to give it to just this bell to give you a real reason to you know take it and if this bell is still trash after this then maybe we can buff up the damage and orb count or something i don't know now i want to talk about resurrection now the problem with resurrection is that this bell is way too situational the way this bell works right is that when you pop it you put a little white glow onto your torso and if you get knocked while this glow is active you'll get revived for 40 percent of your health keep in mind that this glow only lasts for i think five to eight seconds and if you don't get knocked during the glow duration then tough luck buddy you basically don't have a bell and this is the exact problem since if your opponent uses their brain and just waits for the glow to wear off before knocking you they literally negate the effect of the entire bell this is what i mean when i say it's situational since sometimes the bell will actually go off and it'll be really good since you get a lot of health back but a good 95 percent of the time the bell will do literally nothing for you my fix is to make it so that instead of having this bell put a glow onto you or your ally you can instead revive people once they're completely knocked but to counterbalance this the revive will take a good five seconds and if you get hit too many times while you're being revived the revive will just cancel this will make it so you have to be smart in order to get good value out of this bell this i think would make the bell pretty balanced since when used in the right hands it can actually be really strong but if you use it poorly then you'll get no value and on top of that it'll be useful in far more scenarios like team fights which is just overall better lastly i want to talk about portals now the reason why this bell is absolutely horrendous is it's meant to be used as a transportation tool except the amount of transportation you get is actually awful first of all the speed boost you get from the bell is actually tiny i'm talking so slow that if people are using mobility mantras they can actually go faster than you second even though the bell makes you invisible you can still see things like chat boxes and i think certain status effects like charms this means that you're not even moving that fast and half the time people can see where you're going anyway so tell me what the point of this bell is if i'm being completely honest the only real use of this bell i've ever seen is to dodge the ethron all and come on having a whole bell dedicated to dodging one move from one boss in the game is ridiculous so how do we fix this bell first of all let us move a bit faster please i don't want to be getting outsped by someone who's literally running normally second just make us completely invisible when we're using yoru this really shouldn't be a problem in the first place and lastly this is just something i thought of what if when you came out of yoru right when the bell ended you made like a little circle around you and anyone in it gets blinded kind of like a flashbang from shooter games this would mean you can use yoru to start a fight with an advantage instead of having this bell be specifically for running away maybe this flash idea could be a variant to yoru so if you have the flash variant the duration is decreased or something i don't know just another one of my wacky ideas Ideas that could be good might be crazy anyways thanks for listening to my thoughts on bells now do i think that these bells are the only ones that need changes absolutely not but i just wanted to highlight a few bells that showcase the general problem with all of them but anyways what else is there to say thank you guys again for watching hope you all enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any concerns or comments on anything i said make sure to leave it down below and with that peace and i'll see you guys next time